What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I know the title and thumbnail of this video probably has something to do with DoorDash. So if you're just around to watch the DoorDash part of this video, I'll put the time down below. I'll link it on the screen so you can skip forward at that time. Uh, but we are trying to grow this channel here and not be just a DoorDash channal. So we're going to incorporate the rest of our day. Later this, later this evening, we will get uh, into our dash. So we're on our way to Best Buy right now. I'm going to look at stereos for my car and then after that, we are going to go up to a park we have in our area and take some pictures for Instagram. And we are also going to look at some GoPros and other cameras to see if we can find anything that will make recording vi these videos a little easier on us. And this camera is a very good camera, but it's it's just not the best for recording video. Uh, it doesn't have a great autofocus feature and um, Having a GoPro, maybe another point-and-shoot camera would make these videos a lot easier. This camera is good for like the uh, cinematic edits that we put in the video, but other than that, it's kind of difficult because you can't really pan like back and forth between people. I don't know if that'll be out of focus, but it didn't autofocus. I know that much. So uh, a different camera and a GoPro would make this a lot easier. So we're gonna look at that and see what we can do. Right, so just got out of Best Buy. The found some stairs that I like there, and the price that they gave me. Was way better than the two other quotes that I uh, had previously gotten. So I think I'm going to be going with Best Buy in the next few weeks to get a new stereo. And as far as the uh, cameras go on Best Buy, we didn't really find anything that we wanted. They didn't have the GoPros there that we wanted to get. Uh, and the other cameras were just a tad bit out of our price range. So um, right now we're going to uh, head home and in a little bit. We're going to head out to the park to take some pictures for our Instagram. And uh, we'll see you then. Alright, so we're just now getting to the park. We're getting ready to take some pictures for Instagram. And we're going to leave those in the description down below if you'd like to follow us. Alright, so we finished up at the park taking pictures and we beat the rain. We switched cars and we are currently heading into the zone to uh, go live. All right, so we head to the zone, I want to talk about a uh, comment we got on the last video. And I also want to apologize, you can hear the rain because uh, it's pretty goddamn loud. Um, so we're currently headed to the zone, but on the last video I had a comment that said uh, only $7 for almost 10 miles. And uh, on that night it was very slow. I usually like to keep a minimum of $1 per one mile that we travel. Um, but that night was very slow, so we were just taking what we could get. We're hoping that it would send us some extra money at the end. Sometimes they'll give you a random two dollars and some change. Uh, that wasn't the case that night. We, that night was a pretty bad night, but it was just a night that we uh, recorded that video on. But for example, last night I traveled a total of 21 miles and made sixty dollars. So uh, there, there's definitely good nights where that happens, and we're hoping to get that again tonight. All right, order number one. Right after going live, we're heading to Emo's Pizza, and we'll update you when we get out to uh, the restaurant. As you can see, we're running with the tablet again tonight. We talked about it a bit in our last video, but overall we haven't mounted here on my side of the car, um, but it's just a bigger screen. The app works a lot better than the iOS version. And we can use the phone uh, mounted down here to uh, just keep track of our miles and to uh, run navigation. And also, what just happened is we still get the uh, alerts on the tablet, and I also get the alerts sent to me from a text. So I. Pretty much, can't, I'm not, I'm not going to miss a delivery opportunity as well, unless the uh, internet screws me over. Alright, so we just got to the restaurant. We're actually going to give it a few minutes because uh, we're here about 20 minutes early. Our pickup time is around 6. It's 5.40 right now. Um, so we're just going to give it a little while. It's not a very big restaurant. Don't want to be sitting around inside and taking up room. And you can usually kind of tell, like, for us, we're picking up two pizzas and a salad. And the pizza place that we're at right now, we know, usually takes about... 20 to 30 minutes for them to make a pizza, so we're not going to wait the full 20 minutes, but we're going to give it a few extra before going in there. Alright, and I talked about it in the last video, but this is what the status screen looks like. Um, so we really haven't gone in yet, but we're still probably going to hit, I don't know what we're going to hit, but you get this when you're waiting for food, and you can uh, select your status. Alright, order number one's picked up. Two pizzas and a salad, we're headed to the restaurant. <laughs> Headed to the home. So again, if you notice, uh, for this order, we're getting seven dollars for it. We were traveling over seven miles, so we weren't quite meeting the one dollar per every mile. However, there's a three dollar bonus, so in all, we're going to get at least ten dollars and forty-four cents from this order. Uh, so that's why we took it tonight uh, on a one dollar bonus night or a no bonus night. I, I may be inclined to uh, 
decline this order and stay in my area because this is taking us out of our zone as well. Uh, the restaurant was in our zone, but the house is out of our zone. Uh, so it's going to take a little extra time, but it was the first order of the night. We're getting $10 off it, so we figured we go for it. So this is what we were talking about for getting some extra money uh, for no no real apparent reason. At least we haven't figured it out yet. Uh, so we got an extra two forty five over guaranteed. So that puts us at nine dollars, almost ten for the uh, order plus the extra three dollar bonus. So in the end, for uh, having less than the one dollar per mile, we ended up making thirteen dollars off this order. All right, right after we uh, marked the last order is delivered, we got another order to go to California Pizza Kitchen. Uh, again, six sixty seven for seven mile round trip. Uh, but we do have the three dollar bonus, and we're going to uh, hope to get a little extra money at the end, like we just did on that order. But we'll see at the restaurant. All right, so sometimes you can get stuck in different zones that you're not used to, like we kind of are right now. So what you can do, which is what we might do after this, is you can pause your dash and get back into the zone that you originally started in. So sometimes uh, on an order you'll see pickup instructions, which is what the restaurant gives to DoorDash to tell you. Uh, so for instance, we are going into California Pizza Kitchen, and uh, they do have requirements. I'll uh, put that up, and I'm not going to read it all. It's a little paragraph here, but I'll put it up on the screen in a second. Um, but every restaurant's different. Not all of them have them, only a select few. I think Chick-fil-A has them, and California Pizza Kitchen. Do we know any others that have them besides no, that? But not every single one enforced. Like, they have them, but they don't like the California Pizza Kitchen in our area does not enforce it at all. Yeah, and like it says to bring your hot bag in. We 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 have our hot bag here in the car. We don't we don't bring it in with us. Um, and we started DoorDash before they started giving out hot bags, anyways. So we don't have a DoorDash hot bag. We just we just have one of our own that we picked up. Yeah, everything was optional when we started. We didn't have to buy anything, or they didn't give us shirts or anything. Everything had to be bought, and they said that. A little, spin, spin. a little spin right there. You don't have to buy, like, you can buy it if you want, but it's not the end of the world, and it doesn't really matter if you don't. And it's my understanding that now they send you, a, 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 at least in our area, they send you a starter pack with your bag, a t-shirt, and that. Like I said, we didn't have to have any of that at the time. Uh, so I haven't told us they haven't sent anything to us. The only thing we had to have was a red card, and that's all they gave us. The rest you still to pay for. So here is something that doesn't happen very often. We got a uh, restaurant added to our route, so we're gonna also be going to Five Guys, which is right next to uh, California Pizza Kitchen. As you can see, we'll get an extra eight twenty-five from it, plus the additional three-dollar bonus on top. So we're making six dollars total in bonus money. Correct. Uh, so this will add it to our route. It'll adjust your drop-off times for the customers, so that you know. Um, so like I said, this doesn't happen very often for us. Uh, so we've never gotten it from two different restaurants. So we're gonna add this one to our route and. Uh, Try to keep the order separate and get rid of the customer. All right, then when you have both these orders, you can jump between your tasks. All you got to do this is on Android. Hit the three lines in the top, and uh, as you can see, we have both orders here. We have California Pizza Kitchen and Five Guys. So if we want to jump back to uh, California Pizza Kitchen, you just hit jump to task there. However, we are going to keep it on Five Guys because it's closer to us. So we're going to pick up the Five Guys order before we head over to California Pizza Kitchen, and uh, we'll update you when we get to the restaurants. And this is a first for us. Like I said, we've had it from the same restaurant, but we've never had it from two different restaurants to add it to our route. Um, so like I said, it does adjust your uh, drop-off time so the other customers do know that you're getting another order. Uh, so like I said, this is a first for us and we'll take you along. And I understand this may be a more common occurrence in other markets, but we're not a super busy market. Uh, we're here in St. Louis, so um, in California and whatnot where there's busier, more people. I, I, this may happen all the time, but this is a first for us. We've been doing this since March. Um, we so only had one time where we picked up from the same restaurant, and that was like three months ago. So it's very rare when it happens. So we picked up the five guys that's in the hot bag in the back seat. He's inside the mall right now going to grab the California Pizza Kitchen. Um, so we have a little issue that we don't know how it's going to pan out right now. Uh, this house that we're taking the five guys to is uh, right basically on the green at Bell Reef Country Club, which is where the PGA Championship is currently being played. Uh, so there's a lot of road closures. Literally every road around the area there is closed. He gave no instructions on how to get there. Uh, so we're just going to wing it and uh, we're going to see what happens. 
All right, so we just picked up the California Pizza Kitchen. It is just a salad, so it's gonna be a quick order. Um, so we're gonna drop that one off first, and then, like I said in the last clip, we're gonna head off and uh, try to sneak our way into the uh, closed roads and get this food delivered um, near Belle Reve. All right, so we just dropped off the uh, California Pizza Kitchen, and we are on our way to the house that is in the area of the PGA, and we're gonna try to sneak into it. <laughs> you see that one coming? Yeah. All right, and just like that, that was a lot less difficult than we thought it would be. We actually didn't run into anyone. We stuck down a neighborhood, uh, and we can see on both ends of us that there's uh, road closed down there and down there. The police are sitting at it, uh, I guess, checking everyone that's going through. So, uh, like I said, we uh, we got lucky and we're able to uh, get over here. Like we can see down to our right there and down to our left, there is a PD on both sides. You don't oh, can't see down there, but straight ahead of us can't see because there's a bus. So, anyways. We uh, snuck in through this neighborhood right here. Yep, right here. The way we're turning down right now, this will get us back out to uh, to the interstate and back to where we need to go. So all in all, uh, it was very simple. The person in front of us has absolutely no idea where they are or what to do with their lives. And they're about to reverse into me. Yep, and that was <laughs> close. All right, we'll see you uh, actually. New order right now. So we are going to head out to McAllister's. Um, way out. We're going oh, all the way back out. Busy pay too. Yep. All right. So as you can see here, back out to McAllister's. We are going out again, 9.7 miles, 7.47. However, we now have a $4 bonus as they've raised it because it's been busy here. So all in all, we're going to have almost $12 off this order. Um, so we are going to accept this order and get out there. We'll see you at the restaurant. All right. So we're heading to McAllister's right now to do this. I believe this is our fourth order, correct? Yeah. Fourth order. Uh, we aren't going to record every single order for the rest of the night. It's about 7.20. We usually end around 8.30 anyways. Uh, so we're going to finish out the night, and uh, we will be back to tell you how much we made, how long it was, just break down the numbers a bit, and then we'll go on with the rest of the night and see what else we uh, add to the video. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in a bit. All right, so we're having to end a little early here. Uh, we had a little bit of a vehicle uh, malfunction, which we've gotten to stop, but uh, I reported it on Snapchat. It was just terrible, terrible. It, it, it was it was it was gonna it was driving us insane. I don't want to talk. So it's just this terrible clicking noise coming from the dash. I'm pretty sure it's the passenger side AC actuator uh, that is causing the clicking every time you would change the vents uh, down Had here. The whole last order we just did. I recorded a clip on my Snapchat. I'll put that in right now. I'll put that in the video. That's what we were going through. So we're gonna go switch cars. Uh, we ended up making fifty dollars off this, but we'll uh, we'll break down the numbers, the hours, the miles, made, and everything. Could have made more, but I don't want to drive. My yeah, car that was right that now. was that was gonna drive us absolutely insane. Uh, so we're gonna go switch cars. He's gonna take his back, get it looked at, and I'm gonna get mine, and we'll go on with the night. We did uh, while this happened, we had to get out of the car. You know, we did go and uh, get a car wash. So I'm gonna I'm film some cinematic clips. That's gonna go in the video now. And uh, we'll be back with our totals and everything uh, after this. Take it easy, take it slow. Take it slow. Did it just like before. So take it easy. So it's the next week after we filmed the main part of this video, and we had to end early because uh, we had the car issue. Um, so we're just gonna go over uh, what we made and break down how many miles we traveled, what we made uh, per mile, how much we spent on gas and everything. All right, so we made about 50 bucks. 
and we drove about 35 miles and we averaged it out to around, or with the gas mileage that my car gets, we got about $1.30 per mile. So that's fairly decent compared to a, some of the other days we had during the week and we're pretty happy with that. And uh, through the end of the night, well, from uh, gas mileage, we ended up uh, only spent about five bucks on gas. So um, that's not bad at all for um, the amount of money we made for 50 bucks. So all in all, it was a good night. Uh, it could have been much better if we were able to stay out longer, didn't have the car issue, uh, but that is what it is, and we had to end early for that. Um, so other than that, you got anything else to add? I'm just glad my car is fixed. <laughs> Yeah, he ended up fixing the part himself, didn't have to go anywhere to uh, get it done. So uh, that is going to do it for the video. Uh, if you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, uh, comment down below, I'll respond to everything that I see. Uh, other than that, uh, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.